Hi, Louise, it's Viral Bright Insight. I'm here again with another energy check-in just to share some of the things that are coming through for me and some of the observations that I am making um, with regards to the astrology and the energy. Um, and I've got to say that, you know, from a personal perspective, um, I am going through a time when there is just so much insight and um wisdom being unlocked and it is um <laughs> it's quite overwhelming in some ways it ties in very much to what i'm going to talk about um but it just gives me so much um hope and um yeah motivation and um, just knowing that you know if it's happening for me it is happening for all of us and sort of what the potential of that is going to bring so very, very exciting times. Admittedly, very intense, very overwhelming, you know, so much fear, so much overwhelm sort of coming through, which again ties into what I've come on to talk about. But, um, you know, as so much is being, as we're being rattled and shaken from at the core, um, you know, it is creating this space for what has been locked down deep within to be released to be well first loosened and then as the pieces are loosened they start to rise to the top you know and if we are ready to see them um you know the, the yeah the potential is just incredible here so um yeah i don't want to sort of take away sort of the intensity and the challenge of the times that we're going through but i'm also really really focused on the potential here and um, so as you know probably know if you followed my channel for a while i'm i'm a galactic and an intuitive astrologer so i mainly work with um more soul based astrology fixed star astrology and um, cosmic points but i'm being very very much drawn to look at human design and the gene keys at the moment um and you know thank you to everybody who has made suggestions and sort of given me resources to explore it is vast <laughs> Um, there seems a lot to learn. So I'm really just kind of um, finding my feet, um, you know, tiptoeing through. But what I'm learning already feels really relevant. So, um, yeah, we are as of today, we are in or working with um, gene key number 57 or gate 57 in human design. And this is the path of intuition. Now, how relevant <laughs> And appropriate is that, you know, that as of tomorrow, Jupiter is about to station retrograde. So I will be talking about that soon. But first of all, I just want to kind of talk you through or walk you through, guide you through the energies and the meaning behind Gene Key 57. And as I said, I just want to reiterate, I am not an expert. There are loads of people out there that, you know, really, really know their stuff. Um, so, you know, Perhaps this is more my perspective um, and what I picked up through reading and listening to various sources. Obviously, Richard Rudd, you know, is amazing when it comes to Gene Keys. Um, but this gate or this path takes us from an instate, a state of unease through our gift of tapping into or tapping into our gift of intuition, which leads us to clarity. So if we break that down, you know, when we are in a state of unease and this, you know, it tends to be it starts off in the mind. Yes, it can come down into the body because, you know, if we are or or, you know, if it's affecting us emotionally, it will also work its way into the body. But for a lot of the time, unease will start in the head, in the mind, in our thoughts, which then affect our emotions, which then affect our physical um, experience. And when we are in overwhelm, sorry, unease, we are effectively in overwhelm, you know, and at this time, it's hard not to feel unease because there is just so much coming at us. And in terms of information, truths being uncovered, you know, massive, massive um, natural disasters and world events, wars, you know, we are literally everywhere you turn, you know, there is traumatic, um, harrowing, you know, fear, 
fear filling news um you know whether you watch sort of the mainstream media or not i know most of us don't but you know we have we are tapped into what is going on even if we don't know we can feel the impact that so much of this sort of information and you know everything that's happening the the impact that it's creating energetically so we've got all this like complete onslaught of information we've also got an onslaught of light codes and higher frequencies coming in through all the flares from the sun you know and they are literally coming almost daily now um you know and that creates overwhelm it's a different kind of overwhelm but it effectively translates in the same way so when we are in this state of overwhelm when it just feels too much it is very difficult to be able to tap into your inner guidance to your inner wisdom in to be able to listen to that inner voice you know it's very much easier to step into a state of fear into a state of mistrust often as well you know it can just cause us to completely disconnect because it becomes too much and you just say i can't cope and literally you know you want to stick your head under the cover i know that's not possible for so many people right now but you know it is really um yeah it, it's a lot and it's kind of a, an acknowledgement that it is a lot and with jupiter you know about well slowing down about to station retrograde you know this is a powerful energy in itself jupiter will expand the energy in the chart. Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, abundance, opportunity, um, you know, and as he comes to station and move retrograde, you know, th this is a big deal in itself. In Gemini, you know, this is expanding the amount of information and the codes and the strands and the energies that are coming our way that we are being completely bombarded with, um, you know, and it's going to really help us to, you know, ultimately when Jupiter goes retrograde, we are going to be called within. So this is going to help. But as we have this kind of period where it's about to happen, everything is just louder, noisier, bigger, you know. So if, like me, you're just thinking, oh my God, <laughs> you're completely in tune with the energies. I don't know whether that's reassuring or not, but um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a lot. So as we work with, um, you know, the sense of ease, um, sorry, unease, love to be ease. I know a lot, a lot of it is about ease as well. But, you know, when we are in this overwhelm, unease, we are very much in the head. So it's hard for us to drop down into the body. You know, it creates anxiety. It creates fear. It creates self-doubt. You know, we're constantly second guessing. We can even start to just completely disassociate and disconnect, as I said, you know, and almost just like, oh, no, I just I don't believe any of this. It's all too much. How can it be true? Um, but, you know, Unease also comes from, you know, being distracted in the extreme, which again feels like that is partly what's going on at the moment. There are so many different sort of stories coming up and, you know, it can be hard to know what's real and what's not to discern, you know, especially when you are feeling overwhelmed. But when we are able to work with or step onto the path of intuition, this is where the gift comes in because we all have intuition. We all have this gift. Not all of us have it completely sort of mastered, whether you can master it or not. I'm not sure. You know, a lot of us are disconnected from ourselves, which makes it harder to listen to or trust our intuition. And a lot of us have been told or maybe um, taught, you know, not to listen to your intuition. You know, just look at what you're being shown. Listen, listen to what you're being told, you know, and it kind of again that is a real distraction technique but at this time you know the gate the gene key 57 asks us to step into more of ourselves so that we can start to listen to our intuition to hear that inner voice that really you know when you do hear it and when you do connect with it you know you just know it's true you know it's your inner guidance your inner wisdom, your inner light. And, you know, this is about listening to the body. It's about listening to that gut feeling, to really paying attention when you can just feel that something isn't right, something is off. You know, it's like being kind of, I don't know, alert to or 
you know, in line with, aligned with the subtle vibrations, you know, and it doesn't have to be loud. This is about kind of being able to shut out all that external noise and, and distractions so that you give yourself an opportunity to hear those voices and that wisdom and that sort of message, you know, and it is going to be quite quiet. So you do have to be able to tone everything down so that you can hear it. And yes, your mind and your ego might resist. They might say, oh, you're making it up. It's just your imagination. But actually, no, if it's coming from within, then it is something that you need to pay attention to because there is a message and there is truth in there for you and um, you know and when you are able to do it to do that to start to you know perceive you know those subtle vibrations those subtle messages that subtle inner voice and um, you know it it is so powerful because it helps you to unlock a much deeper level of wisdom to enter an inner world you know and to become much more aligned with who you are and what it is that you have brought in to really help you to support you through this time. So intuition is the key. And like I said, we all have it. Um, but, you know, it does require often letting go of all that distraction, letting go of all the teachings, everything that you think you know, you know, and with Jupiter stationing retrograde again, it's like Jupiter in Gemini is so much focused on information understanding we want to know we want to know it all we want to know all the strands read all the books listen to all the podcasts until the point is you know we just have there's just too much it's just so overwhelming we don't actually know how to anchor ourselves and what to focus in on so you know as jupiter stations retrograde it's going to encourage us again and it just fits beautifully with this gate 57 to start to really switch off from all that external noise and to come within and to connect with the inner wisdom that lies within because we all have this information locked within us now for some of us we're lucky enough to have access to but for so many of us it lies deep within the shadow self almost you know hidden away quite intentionally I feel at many levels by us because you know the wisdom and the information and that sort of knowing is it's it's very powerful and there can be this fear you know if you sort of connect with it and unlock it and see what's hidden you know uh, can you handle it you know is it going to be too much and of course you know if you think about from an external point of view our our, our wisdom is often repressed um, or restricted or hidden away or mocked or vilified, you know, in order to keep it hidden so that we won't access it. And this is where the distraction techniques come in, because, you know, they don't want us to connect with what lies within, because that is where the power is. That is where the light is. That is where the expansion is. And, you know, it's much safer you know to keep us in a state of not knowing of disconnection of not being able to access it but this is a time where you know we are invited to come within and when we do and we create that stillness and we listen to that inner voice and we start to look into the shadow into the depths we will see what is hidden and that is you know the potential of that is just incredible and I feel I'm going through something you know very much aligned with that journey at this time really looking at what is locked in and it's not for the faint of heart it's not easy to look into your shadows you know you have to look at what makes you fearful where you might feel ashamed you know what is uncomfortable um all the feels and you know and from a kind of human perspective they are quite negative emotions and feelings but in actual fact it is through that that we can get to the source to the nectar to the gold you know to to the prize to the jewel that lies within and I, I'm going to come on and talk more about the shadow in time I feel I'm still kind of pulling the strands together of what I want to share but it is just coming up so strongly so I will definitely be back to kind of go into this more deeply but just coming back to gate 57 gene key 57 when we connect with our intuition the city or the you know the ultimate the goal where we are heading is clarity and this is clarity in terms of having 
access to you know that information which hasn't been manipulated it hasn't been interfered with it hasn't been influenced by something it hasn't been dirtied sullied you know it is clear it is pure it is divine it, it, there is lucidity there is and um, just like this uh, aha you know and with that becomes comes relief and the understanding and the knowing um, you know, through the light. And this is, you know, with all the light codes that are activating and supporting us to access this time. So really, you know, it is the point where, you know, when we get clarity, we can then release fear because, you know, we can trust, we can feel safe. And with that, we let go of the fear that has been holding us in a certain state of unease. And we just step into stillness and into pure love. And we start to realise that, you know, what it is that we have buried and hidden deep within is actually the light. It is source. It is the divine that stays, that lies, that remains, um, that hides effectively within all of us. But it is being able to pierce through the density and, and the restrictions and the shadows in order to see what lies within Um, so incredibly powerful, incredibly beautiful. And as I said, with Jupiter getting ready to station retrograde, you know, we are coming into a time where, you know, over the next months and Jupiter will be retrograde until the 4th of February next year, going back through, you know, many degrees of Gemini. This is about being given an opportunity to really review information, to perhaps pick it apart, to sit with it, take it within, to really try to process it. And, um, you know, this is potentially going to lead to massive shifts and changes in our belief systems and what we know, what we understand to be true it's also going to help us sort of connect with an inner faith because jupiter is our faith you know for many it's religion it's philosophy it's a guru it's spirituality but ultimately it's faith it's knowing that there is more to life than the 3d to than the physical but actually that we need our physical vessels and able to kind of access it it's like a two-way thing and that kind of brings me back to the the symbolism of the eight that we're working with in 2024 this you know as above so below this connection between heaven and earth you know bringing being able to look above and below and being able to see both and come into that center point and pull the wisdom of the shadow aligned with the wisdom of the light and just bringing it together to basically help us to ascend and to grow. And, you know, this huge shift in consciousness is coming, whether <laughs> any or many or all of us are ready or not, it is happening and Jupiter is going to help us get there. So awakening to higher truths, bringing in revelations that are absolutely designed to shift our belief system, perhaps beyond where, you know, we ever imagined. And also, bringing all the strands back to wholeness because Gemini, you know, Gemini, there can be lots of like, it's very scattered energy, um, you know, lots of strands, lots of paths, lots of ideas, lots of stories, but it's about bringing it in to the hold so that we can really start to work with it and pull it together. Um, you know, really, really beautiful, but certainly, you know, we're coming into a time when, yes, we're going to be questioning everything and it's interesting that mercury in libra is trine jupiter today and tomorrow so again you know this is kind of almost creating even more overwhelm in terms of information but understanding that you know mercury wants to understand wants to know but and mercury realizes that in order to kind of get to where we need to go we need the support of jupiter to kind of help expand our beliefs and push us out and push us to explore more get more information um but you know and so there is this beautiful flow but again it, it may create more noise and more overwhelm in the short term so just be mindful but mercury is also opposing chiron today and um, so again you know it is like this the healing potential through the understanding is coming through and it's like yeah it's the potential to heal our wounds, our deepest wounds of our disconnection, which 
you know, we talked about at the beginning through the unease, through the energy of unease. And when we are, you know, working with Chiron in Aries, this is about disconnection from the self, which is ultimately where we are trying to reconnect to because the answers all lie within. And, you know, it is the self that we are coming back to, the self being source, the realisation that we are source and that, um, yeah, the gold is actually within all of us. Now, tomorrow, um, actually, no, Thursday, we have got um, Mercury is going to oppose Eris. Now, Eris being the kind of dwarf planet of discord, chaos, <laughs> strife, um, you know, so it's it is quite likely that sort of come, you know, towards the end of the week, there's going to be, you know, a lot of information coming through that is going to rattle us, that is going to challenge us, that is going to create anger and discord and and ultimately chaos but again sort of being aware of that often you know helps and knowing that it is just a it is a transit okay so but just be mindful of that and that is on the same day that we have the 1010 portal which is obviously magnifying new beginnings and new endings and kind of a completion the potential and um, through the duplication of that number and I just want to jump a little bit further ahead as well. Come get to the weekend and, you know, it's not going to be any karma. I have to say we have got Pluto stationing direct at 29 degrees Capricorn. You know, for me, I've talked about this a lot. We've talked about um, Pluto all year and, and last year. You know, it's like <laughs> this is such strong, profound, intense, powerful energy. But as Pluto gets into you know the time when he's now going to finish off his um stint in capricorn over the coming weeks you know there is even more intensity to what is coming up from within and you know again i talk about this a lot it isn't just about what's going on on the outside about truths coming to light and information and disclosure and all of that it is about being able to tap into what lies within in in terms of you know where has the patriarchal system kept you small kept you sort of locked in you know kept things repressed this is like your power is coming up from within and coming out and again the potential of that when we start to realize who and what we are is just yeah it's staggering and um, on Sunday, Mercury is going to square Pluto. Mercury will come to the final degree of Libra. Libra, by the way, you know, side note, obviously linked to justice as well as harmony and balance and peace. So Mercury coming into square Pluto at the anoretic degree. Again, this is intense. Um, information possibly relating to justice, which is going to really, you know, force Pluto to play his card to show us what has been hidden in terms of all the systems, all the structures, all the role models, you know, all the people that we put on pedestals, you know, are we going to see the truth coming out? I, I do think so, because there's quite a lot of other um, alignments going on. On Sunday, and of course, Mercury after squaring Pluto is going to step into Scorpio, which is the sign of secrets and what is hidden. You know, the, also the opportunity to really access through the shadow, you know, some really deeply healing energies that can help us sort of regenerate in many ways. So, you know, there is so much going on um, just over the next six days. So, um Oh, yeah. And of course, on Monday next week, Mercury is going to meet the Shapley attractor. <sighs> really powerful cosmic point linked directly to truth, to masks falling, to the veils being lifted, curtains being opened. You know, it is nothing but authenticity and integrity and truth when the Shapley is activated. Um, so, yeah, we have definitely got some really interesting energies coming up over this six day kind of gate 57 um, process and, and journey that we are moving through. So um, yeah, it's really, it's like, yeah, it's wow. It's wow. But ultimately, you know, the gift, the message is to step into yourself 
trust your intuition, step into your intuition and know that as all these energies come through, you know, our intuition is deepening, it is strengthening, it is growing. So even if you might think, oh, I'm not that intuitive, I'm not that psychic, you know, I don't hear things, I don't see things, I don't get messages just put that aside and trust that actually you are intuitive and that you can connect to your inner voice and there are messages everywhere if you are willing and open and ready to see them okay so again that feels important as well you know don't just sort of say oh no that's not me i'm not intuitive although i'm guessing a lot of people watching my content are you know it is your intuition is your greatest gift so trust it and stop relying on you know what other people are saying what other people are telling you if it doesn't feel right or you're being guided to do something or share something or say something you know trust it tap into that because your body your inner gut feeling knows and that is just it's worth its weight in gold right now. Okay, so amazing energy to be working with, to be supporting us at this time. I hope you found that useful. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep coming back and sharing as things come up. So you know, keep checking in. If you're not subscribed, please do so. I think you can, I don't know, click a bell or something so you get alerts when I have released new content because I don't always share that on my other platforms. I'm kind of tending to focus on YouTube at the moment um but um yeah and if you need support if you need insight if you want guidance in terms of your own astrology your own galactic alignments your own connections starseed lineage what's going on transits anything you know I am available to do readings and energy work so you can find out um more at spiralbright.co.uk um you know I do think we are in this together for sure. Um, so, you know, and as I am finding, as I work on people's charts, I am getting so much more insight and wisdom about myself because, you know, we're still in this Libra energy. Everything is a mirror and we learn through each other. So I'm sure there'll be more to share. In fact, there's definitely more to share in terms of what I'm learning about now um, as we come to more fixed start activations in um, early November. So something to look forward to. But yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to leave it there. Have an amazing day, evening, wherever you are. Lots of love.